Olivia, um, what is the latest we know from the authorities in Beijing? How come there's a sudden spike in the cases from the weekend? Well, certainly, yes, it does seem like, you know, today China is waking up to more worrying news about this new coronavirus. What we are hearing of is another death, a spike in the cases over the weekend in Wuhan. And now for the first time, we are also hearing of cases being reported out of Wuhan city. And so let's just break that down for you. In Wuhan, we are seeing the third death that's being reported. The first two deaths were reported over the last two weeks. The earlier two deaths were of a man in their 60s and they both had underlying medical conditions. Um, we have not heard any further details on, uh, you know, this third victim of this pneumonia outbreak. Now, of the new 136 cases, we are hearing that the youngest case, uh, the youngest patient is 25 years old, while the oldest is 89. And symptoms displayed include fever, cough, and they have difficulty breathing as well. And authorities say, uh, you know, how the spread of this of these new cases took place is being studied up and follow-up uh, is being done as well with uh, the, the people that these patients had come into contact with. But what's also worrying is that now we are hearing for the first time of cases being reported out of Wuhan. Uh, one case is being reported in China's southern province, Guangdong, in Shenzhen. Uh, the patient is said to be a 66-year-old man who had traveled to Wuhan in December to visit relatives, and he started to receive treatment on January 4th and was isolated a week later. Another two cases are being reported here in the capital, Beijing. And uh, these two patients also have a history of traveling to Wuhan City. Um, the reports also say that they were admitted to a hospital in the Daxing district in Beijing. Um, and Daxing is also the same area where uh, China's new airport is. Um, and so these two patients were reported and uh, reportedly diagnosed after what the report said uh, was uh, extensive testing as of now. We also know that the, they are being treated in isolation. And so we are seeing this spike in the number of cases also as authorities are stepping up checks and tests for this new coronavirus. Olivia, what sort of uh, specific measures are authorities taking for this week's uh, Chinese New Year travel rush? Well, we have heard from the National Health Commission and China has said that they will be stepping up efforts to try and contain the spread of this coronavirus outbreak. And uh, uh, they especially said that they will be stepping up efforts during this Chinese New Year period, which is the busiest travel period in the year here in China. And so they will be paying close attention to the development <clears throat> and change of the uh, epidemic and also direct the implementation of preventive and control measures. Authorities are also urging local governments to announce any confirmation on new cases of inf infection uh, as soon as possible. And this also comes as local authorities acknowledge that they cannot rule out a limited human-to-human -human transmission.